famous for its VK540, the new workhorse in Yamaha's stable for a few years now has been the RS Viking Professional. This sled has been a mainstay performer in areas where off-trail work is required, especially on the East Coast in Newfoundland, Labrador. Be it work or play, this machine can do both and do them well. Here's what our utility expert, Phil Malto, had to say about the 2012 version. The RS Viking Professional is a great utility sled. It's been proven time and time again that it can do everything. It can pull, it can haul, it gets great fuel economy, it's reliable, it does everything well. If there's a one knock against the sled, it's the gear selector. It just doesn't want to go from gears to gears comfortably. And if you're working and you've got big gloves or you're in a tight spot, you don't want to be trying to manipulate that handle. So Yamaha's done everything right on the sled, just not crazy about the gear selector lever. The one thing we would like to see added to this machine would be EFI. And our speculation is that it won't be long in coming. A Viking sled in the home of the Vikings on the East Coast seems only fitting. But rest assured, this performer will get the job done wherever it fires up. Welcome back to STV's Kane's Quest. Team 25, O'Coin and Gerard have been leading the race almost since the start. They're still out front as teams take on the longest stretch of the race where they must travel 550 kilometers to the Twin Rivers checkpoint. It's along this part of the course where headquarters receives a call they hope that would never come in. Team 5 is in distress and has pushed the 911 button on their spot transmitter. Barry Callahan has rolled his sled and fallen into a creek. The sled is out of action, the helicopter is dispatched and Barry is airlifted to the checkpoint. Leave everything else, you're going to sling the hell out to chop that snowmobile tomorrow. So he went through the water? What's that? He went through the water? Yes, right here. Okay. He was in the water, just got hit the rock. That one's gone, that one's gone. So we're going to limp this one out. That one's got to stay. Okay. Those bags got to go on your chopper. Okay. I'm not sure about the baggage, but bring it and we'll have it. I gotta, I gotta take some of them back. Yeah. I don't know, I wasn't here. I was on the, on the other side there, so I don't know. When you arrived, what happened? Uh, I just, uh, he just showed me his, uh, the damage on his, uh, on his uh, right, left side of the ski there. So I don't okay. think he'll, he'll go anywhere with that. With that. At this stage in the race, the land of Kane has claimed almost half the field. 14 teams remain from the 26 that started. When we return the exciting race to the finish line. <laughs> 